The bad news is we have after effects of COVID, social after effects. Uh, we have economic issues. We have quality of life issues. We have increasing crime issues. We have habitability issues. I can't tell you how many phone calls I get from people, especially in New York City, who are literally worried about the degradation of New York City. Uh, and much of it stems from the economic problems. And Washington is doing absolutely nothing. Uh, they're going back and forth with gridlock. Uh, this was the last piece of legislation that they were supposed to pass to handle the aftermath of COVID, and they haven't done it. Uh, the Republican Senate doesn't want to fund state and local governments, and that's the sticking point. Not to fund state and local governments, but to provide all the money that they did to businesses. But you're not going to provide funding to state and local governments who basically support police, fire, hospitals, and schools. It's just totally ludicrous to me. Uh, and it starts with the president. There was a uh, headline in the Daily News once, uh, Ford to City Drop Dead. And the city was outraged. Ford wouldn't provide financial resources. Uh, what Ford did pales in comparison to what Trump is doing. Not only did he tell New York City to drop dead, Trump is actively trying to kill New York City. It is personal. I think it's psychological. He is trying to kill New York City. He passed SALT, which was targeted just at New York City. Tax reform cost us $14 billion. He's refused to fund the extension of the Second Avenue subway from 96 to 125th Street. Every prior administration has funded the Second Avenue subway. It has always been a federal state partnership. Only this president, a former New Yorker, refuses to fund the Second Avenue subway. Even after we opened it up to 96th Street, uh, and did an amazing turnaround on the construction project that everybody celebrated. He won't approve the air train to LaGuardia. And you want to talk about uh, really ironic, repugnant logic. You know why he won't approve the air train to LaGuardia? He says he has to do an environmental review statement. The same president who has lamented about the delay of environmental reviews and how they take so long and they stop development and how bad the secret process is and how the environmentalists are all full of baloney when it comes to Anwar. But now he says, I can't approve the air train from LaGuardia that's been talked about for decades because I have to do an environmental review. Now, Trump, as the environmental bureaucrat, how incredible is that? He won't approve congestion pricing for the MTA. What does he have to do with congestion pricing? Nothing. It is just gratuitous. It's just gratuitous. There's no federal involvement in congestion pricing. Their approval is purely technical, and it's been over a year. We passed it in New York State. He won't approve it. He won't rebuild the tunnels between New York and New Jersey that are dangerous. They are Amtrak tunnels. Do you know who owns Amtrak? Who owns Amtrak? The federal government owns Amtrak. They're his tunnels. They're decaying. I went to the tunnel. I took a video of water seeping into the tunnel. I took a video of bricks crumbling. I sent him the video. He watched the video. Still no money to fund the Amtrak tunnels. This weekend, they stopped FEMA funding 
from closing, from cleaning schools and trains. We want students to go back, we want schools to reopen, but you don't want to clean the schools? Students should go back to a dirty school? Is that what you want your child to do? Gratuitous and arbitrary. And now, no federal funds for New York City and New York State post-COVID. 